I am packing my belongings in the shawl my mother used to wear when she went to the market. And I am going from my valley. And this time, I shall never return. I am leaving behind me my 50 years of memory. Memory. Strange that the mind will forget so much of what only this moment is past, and yet hold clear and bright the memory of what happened years ago, of men and women long since dead. Yet who shall say what is real and what is not? Can I believe my friends all gone when their voices are still a glory in my ears? No, and I will stand to say no and no again, for they remain a living truth within my mind. There is no fence nor hedge round time that is gone. You can go back and have what you like of it, if you can remember. So I can close my eyes on my valley as it is today, and it is gone, and I see it as it was when I was a boy. Green it was, and possessed of the plenty of the earth. In all Wales, there was none so beautiful. Everything I ever learnt as a small boy came from my father, and I never found anything he ever told me to be wrong or worthless. The simple lessons he taught me are as sharp and clear in my mind as if I had heard them only yesterday. In those days, the black slag, the waste of the coal pits, had only begun to cover the side of our hill. Not yet enough to mar the countryside, nor blacken the beauty of our village. For the colliery had only begun to poke its skinny black fingers through the green. I can hear even now the voice of my sister, Ancharad. <laughs> 